Ohio State takes a timeout. Fifth Louisville sack. They're from the 39 on fourth down. Here's Charlie Steiner with the radio call on ESPN Radio. The pictures from KTVU in San Francisco as Bonds comes to the plate again in Houston. It'll be interesting to see how this young left-hander goes about his business against Bonds, who has walked three times tonight, each walk on four pitches. He did bounce to second base once. Actually, it was... Craig Biggio in short right field with the pronounced shift where he was able to field the ball and throw out Bonds. And so everybody here at Enron Field on their feet, hoping now, finally, history will be made. Listen to the crowd. Rodriguez delivers to Bonds. Swing and a miss, stubbing and one. Bonds is going for the downs, and Rodriguez came right at him. No balls, one strike, nobody out. Ninth inning, a 9-2 giant lead. Rodriguez delivers a fastball inside and high. It's one ball and one strike. Well, the young left-hander's going right at him, Soup. Yep, and probably borrowing a page from Billy Wagner. Why not here? Trailing 9-2. 69 home runs for Barry Bonds. The 1-1. There it goes! There it goes! Mark McGuire! As a co-owner of the home run throne, number 70 for Bonds. Over the right center field bullpen of the Houston Astros. And now the Giants have come out to home plate, and there he is. Number 70. It's been a long time coming. The entire giant bench out mobbing Barry Bonds. His young son, Nikolai, hugging his dad, kissing his dad. Dusty Baker gives him a big hug. There was no doubt about it the moment it left the back. And now he co-owns the home run throne with Mark McGuire. It was an absolute monster blast into the middle of the upper deck. As soon as Barry hit it, both arms were thrust in the air. The youngster Rodriguez threw him three fastballs in a row. He got one by him. The second one went about 400 and probably 35 to 40 feet. Number 70. Mark McGuire has company. Well, the fans want a curtain call. There's not going to be any stoppage of play, but Bonds comes back. 